statement and then uh, go to questions. Um, glad we have exhibition games <laughs> that don't count. Um, you know, I thought we did some really good things today, obviously. There's a lot of things we have to work on, um, but I think we did have some bright spots. So just happy overall. I thought it was a great turnout from the fans and, um, you know, showed a lot of good freshman talent, but showed a lot of really ugly things, especially the fourth quarter. Um, you just have to, have to improve a lot, but that's, this is work in progress. Three three kills is what you talked about yesterday. So, I mean, what do you have to say about that? Uh, fourth quarter, awful. Um, we got outscored by two. I mean, we allowed, um, 60% from two and 67% from the three and 100, well, perfect from the free throw line. In the fourth quarter, that's not characteristic of us. And I, I don't think in the exhibition game in my career, we've allowed 45% from two and 47% from three in my career. So definitely have a lot of work to do. So not good defense at all. How do you think having this game, this exhibition game, will help the team going forward uh, for your first regular season game against the any, um, exhibition games always help. I think that you know some of the freshmen were really nervous. I saw it in the shoot around. I saw it in pregame. Um, I think it's just really good to get the jitters out to work on things. There was things that you know we kind of forgot. You know, not forgot, but like just with a whole new staff and stuff, and um, we just had to work out kinks. So it's really good because in real games are kind of they're more seamless. But definitely people are learning things like there's managers being shadowing other managers. There's Players learning how what you do, the etiquette on the bench, um, what a what a game day looks like. It's all new, so it's a lot of stuff. Yet alone learning how to all new plays, all new defense. It's a lot of information, so it's like information overload for freshmen. But that's a part of the process. So um, just it's good to have exhibition games. After seeing this team play together for the first time tonight, how do you predict the dynamics going to be going forward? Um, I I mean I predict that we'll be good. Um, will be better than today, for sure. I can guarantee that. And, you know, it's just a lot of work to do. Because right now, as a coach, you're trying to figure out, you know, we don't have set starters right now. Um, we don't have – roles aren't defined this early in the season. So now these things help define your roles. So whether it's five minutes or it's 25, you're earning playing time. There is no garbage time. And I always say that. You can play two minutes or, or 22. Like, those minutes are important. Like, what you do in those minutes. I mean, a perfect example of that is, is Paris. She was like probably the sixth or probably the eighth person in, and she came in and she was a spark, and then she earned more minutes. And she played really hard, and she was fearless, and she was solid defensively, so she earned more minutes. So now as a coach, I have more confidence in her going moving forward. Um, so I think that it's the dynamics will be better. We will play better. Our defense will definitely be better because we're going to work on a lot of defense. We're going to have a lot of defensive um, practices because we take too many chances. I don't want. I want discipline, not over aggression. So I want aggressiveness with good rotations and then discipline. If you are going for a steal, you're not 100%, then be solid and be in front of someone. Um, not like lunging here, lunging here, rotation, and then no help. So those things collectively as a team, we have to get better at. Like we had no help side. Um, that's like, those aren't things that our identity is really solid rotations. So it's okay, we're just not there yet, but we'll get there. So I'm confident in that. I know that well, and that's the case. But we, I also have to like take a step back and not be critical and say, okay, we have seven new players, four freshmen who have never learned defensive rotations, and it's all new. And they're trying, and they want to be good, so I'm happy for that. And then I, we have three transfers who came from all different styles and different coaching. So that, that's normal. That's over half your team. That's seven out of 12. So I do have to give that some grace and, and some understanding and some patience. Jade had 20 points tonight. What did you think of her performance? I think she's great. She's what I expected. Um, doesn't surprise me, everything she did. But I did challenge her to go to the rim more, so I, just, I think she did a phenomenal job of getting layups. Jade never gets layups. <laughs> she didn't even get layups when she had 30-something points against us last time. But uh, and when she was at ASU. No, she um, takes pull-up jumpers. Um, I think a couple of them even went in and out. So she could have been 12 for 18. She was 10 for 18. That's, it's, a, it's a good amount of shots, but it's also a good percentage. So. Uh, she's a shooter. Um, she's got a beautiful um, jumper that she rises up on. Not a lot of women in the country have that. Um, and so I, I, she's going to take shots, and she's going to make shots. And like I said, she's efficient. She's experienced. She plays hard. Her defense is improving, improving. So I thought she had a good game. Asbury was all over the court tonight on the defensive end. I think she really helped. Uh, how do you um, how do you think her experience from from being um, having so many years of college experience help help her? 
um, tonight? Yeah, it helps a lot. I mean, she plays hard. She's going to get in better shape. Just like our team, we're not in shape yet. Like, we're gassed after a few times, but we press. So I always say to our players, like, fitness should, and great players, fitness should never be a factor because um, great players never get tired. Because when good players, players get tired, great players kick their ass. So that's the, you look at the Sue Birds, you look at the Diana Tarazas, you look at the, um, like, Sylvia Fowles, you look at all those players, they don't get tired, they're never on the court gassed. Um, so, I, mean, I look at USA Basketball, um, <laughs> Chelsea Gray, like, they, they don't get tired. They get like Chelsea, Kelsey Plum is another example. They're in shape, so fitness is never a factor because then you can press, you can hit shots when you're not tired. So um, that's what you challenge, like, this age because they don't understand that when they're this age. Like, Ari understands that now that she's a pro. She didn't understand that in college. But um, I think just being solid and, and – you know, being ready to play good defense, all those things are ways you play on the court here. If you don't do those things, it's hard to play here. So uh, did I answer your question? I forgot what your question was. Um, yeah, I okay, well, you, yeah. okay, I think so. <laughs> I forgot the question. How do you um, feel about Kate Reese returning to the court this year, and how is she doing? Do you see any differences, or is she getting back to where she used to be? Yeah, I think Kate was great. I think she was solid. I mean, she played the second most minutes. Um, I thought she was good. I thought some shots faded away a little bit. Got some double teams, could have passed them out, but I thought everybody had a little bit of that. I think she um, looks like she never missed a beat. She doesn't look like she was out with the injury. I think um, she played a really good game. Um, you know, she had two block shots. She had zero turnovers. So in 24 minutes, I think that's a solid game. She doesn't look like she just came off an injury, so I'm, I'm proud of her. I remember that first three in the beginning, that was, that was a great first shot. So I'm um, just proud of where Kate is and proud of the way she's playing. You're rebounding, even compared to exhibition last year, you were, I mean, by halftime you had almost as much as you did last year at this point. What do you think about the rebounding this year? Uh, I really, I, I knew it Mary, as Mary would add to that because she's a four that can really rebound it and I think that's a big strength of hers. I, I feel like she effortlessly got 12. So, um, you know, I think that offensively she'll play better. I think, you know, getting her the ball and the pops, um, getting her on dri in driving action, she'll be fine. She'll score more. But she plays hard. She's tough. Um, probably fouls a little bit more now than needs to, like those people out. But as Mary's going to be a good player, she's going to be fine. She's going to be a significant scorer for us. Um, she'll be a solid defen defensive player. But I, like I said to our post players, as Mary has to be in good shape because our force, Kate is Mary, Maya, they are on the top of presses, they are hedging, they are trapping, So and our guards have to be in shape because they're pressing the ball. So, you know, they have to be fit to do that. We aren't gonna be fit in, on October 27th. It's gonna be, it takes time. And we really haven't had our team all together because of little injuries. Like Lauren Ware, we miss Lauren Ware right now because she's one of our best post defenders. And she's a really good communicator. So we miss her right now and she'll be out for a few weeks. So, um, you know, we just gotta get better. But, but Kate's, Kate's great, and is very yeah. solid. The, that's just the knee swelling, right, with, yeah. with Lauren? Yeah, so it has to calm down, and we'll you know, probably get it drained, and then she'll be fine. But she's just rehabbing. And I don't need to play her. If it was a game, and this is Pac-12, she'd probably play. But just right now, brace her, kind of let it calm down, and then she'll be okay. Hit knees really hard with one of our practice players, so and then just felt a little swollen from them. The uh, offense looks I know it's, it's a new team, but the offense looks completely different, especially with that first group that's the starters. Yeah. Um, it seemed like everybody was just um, unafraid to shoot. Yeah. And they were just... Oh, I know. And they were just... <laughs> <different>. <laughs> um, where do you think those players are right now? Because obviously, at, at this moment, they started for a reason. Yeah, I think, um, so if you look, and I don't, we don't have set starters yet, I'd say. Maybe a couple who most likely will start, but we're definitely not set with our starters. Um, I would say that I'm not concerned right now with our offense. I know Kaylin can score. I know Paris can score. I know Jay can score. I, can, I know Lauren is Mary Kate. I know they all can score. Shana can score. What I'm concerned about is our defensive rotation, our ball pressure, our trust on defense. Those are selfless things, and we aren't there yet. And we're not a selfish team at all. We don't have selfish players. We have players that are really used to being the man or the woman, um, and they're used to getting all the shot, and it's different roles. Like, you look at our team, um, so that's going to be the puzzle I have to put together. You look at Jade Lavelle, they call her Love at ASU. I saw media, they were like, tell Love I said hi. I was like, I was like, Courtney? No, no, that's Jade Love. And I was like, oh, that's her nickname, so it's Love. Um, 
but she can score. She's used to taking a lot of shots. And so then you have, as Mary's used to taking 12, 13, 14 shots. Then you have Lauren, then you have Shayna, Kate. So it's going to be putting all that together and figuring out a way to have continuity and cohesiveness on offense. So that's gonna take time. <coughs> because I th they all can score, but who can play defense? Who can rotate on the help side? Who can communicate on the back side? Those are the things I'm looking for right now that we're missing. Um, 12 shots was a lot for Shayna. I mean, she did a lot of good things, but 12 shots seemed like. No, and uh, they, I think in just the timing, I think she missed probably four layups. So if you take that down, I mean, she would have been six for 12. And then as she missed, I think a couple jumpers were early without, rota without ball reversal. So maybe she changes two of those, and I'm okay. I don't think 12 shots is too much for Shayna. I just think two for 12 is not good for Shayna. Shayna's too good to go two for 12, but you have those nights. But then I said, if you do that, then it's good because she did other things, so that's what I love. In the past, she wouldn't have. She was three for four on three throws. That was amazing. And then she had three rebounds. She had um, six assists and one turnover. So I like that. In the past, she would have not had that. She would have kind of stopped. So I love the fact her maturity was, okay, she's still, I love that assist to turnover ratio. And then she's going to correct those lights. I think she was kind of like changing her shot in the air, off balance. But we were all, we probably missed 12 layups. So those are things that we have to get better at. Okay. And then when you're in shape, it's easy to finish those shots. That's why I say, so a lot of fitness is a lot of it. But it's that balance as a coach of not running your team in, to the ground and getting that balance of working, fitness, teaching. That's the that's interesting balance right now because we haven't all been healthy at once. You said uh, yesterday that, uh, that Jade's work ethic has really propelled players like Mamaya, Paris, and Kaylin. Um, yeah. how, uh, how do you think that's rubbed off on them on the court? Well, Jade's work ethic is phenomenal. Um, she's incredible. I love coaching her. She works hard. She works like she wants to go pro, and I love that. She's, she's pretty fit. She's strong. She works every day, but she's not just out there shooting. She's like working on stuff, coming off screens, going hard. Um, but that's just contagious because when you have players do that. But Kaylin does that too. Kaylin's probably in the gym the most out of anybody. Um, Kaylin on a Friday night, or what's today, Thursday night. So Friday night, you know, people are hanging out with friends. She's in the gym. Um, so I love that about her. So no one had to teach that to her. Um, she does that, and that's, she's one of the best. She's one of the most at studying the film and one of the most at with her work ethic. And most of the time, freshmen do not have that. Um, so she's going to get better and she's going to learn and the coaches are going to pour into her because of her work and what she dedicates to the game. So I love that about her. Um, and then Jade, as a senior, you see that. I think that makes people want to work harder and, and be, a, be like that. But um, I'd say Paris is in the gym, LaMaya. Like the, our fresh Maya, Maya was just, she's 100% healthy right now. She's getting healthy. She's in the gym too. So those are freshmen that want to work. So I think that if you look at a culture shift, that's the first time we've had a whole group of freshmen is, is like that. And I like that, because that's how you build a team. Now, your goal is consistently, when you have a championship team, everybody does that. And so we have, most of our team does that. Most of our team works. But our freshmen, I, I'd say, there's some of our freshmen on this team that outwork the upperclassmen, like, by far. And how do you see for Shana now that she has the Jades and the, the other pieces, while everybody else, in, including her, have gotten better? How do you think that'll help her as a point guard? So it helps her a lot because I think when you have, you know, Kaylin, Jade, or uh, Lauren, Jade, on the perimeter, you have way more, and it is Mary. So when you have as Mary, Lauren, Jade, and you're Shana, you have lanes to the basket. So she's going to finish those layups because she's going to get a lot more layups. I mean, she just is because you have to guard those players. And you have, then you bring Maddie and you have to guard her. You bring Paris and you have to guard her. You bring, um, you know, Kaylin and you have to guard her. So it makes her job a lot easier because when we don't have players, they can shoot it. They just all sag in on, um, on Shayna. And then you have his Mary. She didn't shoot the three today, but um, she didn't attempt any. She's a three-point shooter too. So I think it just opens the floor for Shayna. And I think J Shayna and Jade have a really good um, chemistry. And then Helena. I can run Helena at the run. I can have her run um, into stuff with Shayna. So there's so many different combinations we can play with. And I think I, I like the versatility of that that we've never had. So um, it's just going to make Shayna better. I mean, I, it, she would have worked a lot harder to get six assists last year. <laughs> a lot harder. Um, and we missed a lot of shots. So I think that we normally, with this group, aren't going to be 20%. We'll be a high 30% uh, three-point shooting team, I believe. So Shayna could average eight assists. So that's it for a point guard. If you have a ratio like a six to one, I mean, I'm, Shane had almost half our, our 
assist. So that tells me I like that. She's doing other things when she's not efficient on offense. So that's, that's really good. That's what a good point guard does. But I thought Paris was phenomenal off the bench. I thought Kaylin was great. I thought Maya gave us great minutes. She's had a little fouls early. But I mean, she in 13 minutes had five rebounds. I mean, she's third leading rebounder in 13 minutes. Um, I thought we saw some really, really good things. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Go ahead with questions whenever you're ready. So, Jade, um, your first game on your first on your new home court. What did it feel like tonight? I mean, it was just really exciting. Um, I look forward to this all summer. I couldn't be with my team, so it was just a matter of getting down here, finally being able to be with my teammates, uh, get with the coaches. Um, and to finally just play our first game, it wasn't as pretty as we wanted, but um, definitely so nice to see the fans that could, could make it out to this one and um, hope they come back. <laughs> you scored 20 points uh, in your first game as well, Kat. How would you assess your performance tonight? Um, I think my teammates just did a good job of finding me. Um, it was a little bit easier to score today, but I think uh, a main focal point for us is just our defense. I think I had some slip ups, um, our transition defense, um, just you know, really trusting each other on the help side and everything. Um, shout out to my teammates for finding me. Uh, Kate went off, so I think it's just going to be fun to you know gel and continue to find each other because we have five scores on the on the floor at a t at once. Kate, hey, you guys have a lot of new players this year. How do you think everybody meshed tonight on the floor? I think, you know, a lot of people, I think jitters. We had a lot of freshmen that came on the floor. It's their first time playing college basketball. So I think, um, I think we did good. We're definitely going to have to watch some film. Um, there's definitely some stuff we need to work on, specifically on defense. But overall, I think we did good. We played well together. I think sharing the ball a little bit more um, will be helpful. But uh, I think overall, everyone did a good job. Defense was what Adia talked about yesterday when we met with her. And it did seem like they were promised tonight. From your both your viewpoints, what were the biggest issues on defense tonight? Oh, uh, I think Coach Adia, she asks a lot of us on defense and I think we just weren't as disciplined. Um, I think even last year at this time we weren't we weren't this good. Even my junior went to the final four. So I think it's just, you know, getting back in the gym, working out, looking at film, finally having game film to see, you know, what we're doing wrong. But I think our transition defense needs to be a lot better and our help side is not there. Okay, it looked like um one, a lot of things looked different tonight, but one thing that did was it seemed like everybody stuck with the play. So if you didn't get the rebound, somebody was really on tight on defense, and sometimes you get the steal right there. You kind of stuck with the play a lot. And, and for the newbies, the freshmen, that's a new thing. What did you see in that part of the game? I think we're competitive. I think we, you know, we we play hard defense. We're not necessarily always in the right spot, but I think we're getting there and we will get better. Um, I think watching film is a big thing, but I think we just we had a lot of tips that we normally would get um, deflections, but um, I think we were there most of the time. It's just we need to communicate a lot better. Rebounding by halftime, you had almost as many rebounds as you did at your first exhibition last year. So, what are you seeing in rebounding on this team this year? I mean, Esmeri is a really big rebounder for us. I mean, if you look at her stats from last year, she averaged like a double-double. So um, she's a huge addition for us. Um, I think we have guards. I mean, Jade flies in there. She gets rebounds. So I think um, we're definitely hitting the offensive board a lot harder than we used to in previous years. And then on top of that, um, you know, boxing out a little bit better, I think, today than we have in the past. And Jade, it looked like, uh, you know, we always talk about your jumpers and all of that, but you're starting to drive more. And that's a little bit, I'm under the impression it's a little bit a, the new, a newer aspect when you were talking about being more of an all-around player. Yeah. Um, how does that you know, help you open up your game more? Yeah, Adia's challenged me in practice, especially just to uh, use my body, get to the rim. Um, I'm a bigger guard, so just not settling. You know, the, the mid-range isn't going to be there every night. And so just using my body, being able to get in the paint, um, it draws defenders if it's not open for me. So just trusting that process. And I think um, my coaches are, have done a great job of just helping me, you know, definitely just gain the, the confidence to get in there. So definitely want to do more of that. 
And what was it like for both of you to like play another team and not just the practice players and against yourselves? It was so nice because, you know, we, we try our best to make each other better every day. So every practice is, is hard. Um, playing against guys that don't hold anything back, you know, a lot of them are six two, six three. We get swat, I get swatted, <laughs> so it's it's fun to play against somebody else and kind of unleash on them. <laughs> um, Kate, you've been here for a while and you've gone through many exhibition games. How would you say, like, how rewarding and validating is it to see like the attendance just grow year after year for games early in the year? I mean, it's crazy because my freshman year, we had maybe 300 people there. Wow. So um, it's, it's just, it's what I came here for. I wanted to leave my legacy. I wanted to, you know, be the foundation so that players like Maya, Paris, Lamaya, all of them would want to come to a school and be proud to wear Arizona. So that was a huge thing for me. Um, I mean, it's amazing seeing all the fans come out tonight for a game that, you know, um, doesn't really go on the stat sheet. So uh, it's really exciting and um, I think, you know, we'll have a lot of sellouts hopefully this year. Kate, you talked a lot about defense. Uh, going into the game, how much um, was the full court press, uh, like, told, or, like, how much did the coach press uh, about the full court press? Um, I mean, we just kind of put that in uh, a week ago, um, but I think we did a good job. I think it's more so we need to get a little bit in better shape. We're kind of tired. We looked a little gassed. I was gassed <laughs> in like the first three minutes of the game. So um, I think that that was a little bit of a factor tonight. But um, we're definitely going to get better. I think our press, we're, we're aggressive. And um, I think we're in the passing lanes a lot. So I think that, and we're a defensive school so or program. So I think that that helps a lot. Um, that gives us a lot of buckets too. So we need to keep up on that and you know just make it better. So, Kate, this is the first time we've seen you play since you've gone through your surgery and all your rehab, and you come out and, you know, your first basket, you nail a three-pointer. How did that feel for you? I mean, it felt really good. I think uh, just credit to uh, all my athletic trainers that have helped me get here. I mean, it's been a long seven months. <laughs> so uh, I'm happy to be kind of getting uh, more on the smooth side of rehab. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, really to them and just – keeping up at it every single day. Um, yeah, it was great to be able to hit that three today. <laughs> how, how is the shoulder? Is it, is it um, like, is there a percentage of how, how well you're able to Yeah, work? I think I've gained pretty much all my range of motion back. I'm still stretching it a lot every day, but um, I mean, it doesn't, I don't think about it anymore in practice when I'm doing layups or rebounding or anything. So I would say I'm about 95%. Hey, Jade was the second, um, the, 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 the second, the leading score in the Pac-12 last year. Um, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, how important is that, like, to help you guys out, like, with like the scoring wise, like you and Shane, Shane, and them. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy she came, uh, you know, down south to Arizona. Uh, you know, I mean, it's great. I mean, we probably would have been playing her against another Pac-12 team otherwise. So, I mean, it's been great. She's a great addition. I mean, obviously, tonight proved it. I mean, 20 points, easy for her. So, um, I mean, it's, it's great having her, being able to play with her, and uh, wear the same colors. Anything else for the players? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.